What is up? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to go over a booster bundle. This includes six booster packs. You can see I paid $26.99 for this. I didn't realize till afterwards that in the same mall I was in, I could have gotten packs for $3.99 and have gotten a cheaper deal. But I ended up buying this anyway because this set was just released when I purchased it. So I was really just like, hey, I found these. Let me just buy everything I can, really. So. Uh, this is the Scarlet and Violet. This is the base set with the new game that came out. This is the new TCG. The cards in this set are 198 cards, so it is a hugely loaded set. It looks like there is 156 in the Japanese set. The release date for this was March 31st, 2000. And 23. Whereas the actual video games, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, came out November 18th, 2022. So there's about, what is that, three to five months before the game and the actual TCG came out. But I am really excited about this. They have new Pokemon, they have these uh, terrestrialized ones. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but these card arts are just super, super awesome. They are really going heavy on the illustrator arts, which I'm gonna put up a couple here. Kerala illustrator art. There's the Miriam illustrator art, which is just such a beautiful looking card. Look at like the detail in it. I mean, these are literally just becoming art pieces. It's just so phenomenal to look at. And then let alone if you were to pull it. They have really awesome looking iron treads, which is new, and a bunch of other awesome new Pokemon, new cards, a bunch of new styles. They reintroduced the EX cards and they also reintroduced some new rules for the TCG game. This video, we are just going to open this up and see what we get. With this set, they basically changed up everything that we know about the classic Pokemon cards. They did new symbols for rarities. They So they basically established what is actually considered a rare and what those pull rates are. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it comes in, it's a sleeve. Okay, you got me there. I didn't think that was a thing. Oh, this is neat. I never bought one of these booster bundles before, but it comes in a little box like this. I like that, I may keep that. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, and six cards. So again, with new rarity symbols, we have a very specific way to say, yes, this card is more rare than something else. And the pull rates and all that stuff will reflect it. So there are gold, a gold star, which is an illustration rare. There's a two gold star, which is a special illustration rare. Then we have a hyper rare card designated by the three gold stars. There's parallel foil cards. I think two come in each pack now, which is interesting. And uh, with that, they also raise the price of these. So like a single pack of Pokemon cards, I was buying some for at least $5 plus tax. And I think each pack also comes with a foil card too. So with each pack, you're gonna get two reverse hollows and one foil, which depending on who you ask is pretty cool, but also may not be. So we'll just, uh, we'll see what we pull here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. We have six packs of the Scarlet and Violet. This is the base set. You can tell this plastic is way more durable. I don't know what their angle was here, if they were trying to go for just more quality or more what. Um, I don't know if this means anything anymore. I'm just gonna place that up to the side. But the new card trick is just placing one up front like that. And there you go, you have your energy. Let's get right into it. Pro gunk, let me go. And of course, what you'll see here too is the silver border. It's no longer yellow. Uh, also, the series is now designated, is the camera going to get that? Come on. Is now uh, the series number there. So you can see it's like season one and it even shows the English set or so, something like that. I, I don't know how to read it if I'm being honest. So here's our first reverse hollow and you can tell like the reverse hollow print is different as well depending on what style you're getting. We have a Magnemite. And here we go. This is a hollow paw mod. So you see that there, they made all of those a hollow. They changed the way the hollow looks. They did huge, huge changes for this set, which I find, I mean, it's cool, right? Eventually there's gotta be some change. Uh, I guess they were trying to line it up more so for the Japanese set, which it is what it is. I don't know exactly how I feel about it per se. Uh, they do look cool. I do like the new cards, but I think there's just, there's something about just like the OG way that these cards were made. Anaconda, Reverse Hollow Flamigo, Mouscarada, and Cyclozar. So 
I think there's something to be said with the older cards. I mean, of course, you know, eventually you're gonna move away from stuff like that. And it is what it is. But I can respect what they're doing. This plastic for these booster packs is so much, it's like industrial. They feel so much more like sturdy. Probably trying to beat all the people that are stealing cards. Spirit Tomb, Reverse Hollow Full Bebe, Reverse Hollow Energy Search, and a Clef Key. Look at that hollow. So, so they do look cool. It's it's awesome to see. It's it's fun to open up. So far, nothing nothing crazy here. Twenty six ninety nine for the booster box. What have you guys paid? Let me know because I'm curious how much I got screwed on this thing. One card up front. Dark energy. I don't know if I saw something there or if I just saw a dark border. Do normal cards just have dark borders? Reverse hollow. Reverse hollow. Ah, nothing there. Halucha. Must be hallucinating. I think I'm seeing things. Single act. Who's happy? Right. Psychic energy. Tropius. Pokeball. Rotom. Palpad? Is that what that was? Oh, have I seen this before? Spothra? It's an ostrich. Team Star Grunt. Toad Scroll. And here's a Coridon EX. So these EX cards now, I'm glad I pulled this so I can speak to it. You'll see it right there. They all have this sparkle now. I don't know how I feel about it. Because I feel like they're just adding stuff to make them look cooler, but once you open up so many, it's like the whole allure of a hollow or getting anything textured. This one isn't textured, but I'm just saying like, when you add so much of it, I feel like it takes away from it. So not only is it hollow, but it also has this pattern all across it too. You can see it all across the top of the card, follows it all the way down to the bottom. But otherwise, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, so far, this pack has not been good to me. What is this? Do all energies have that? Why did I just notice that now? I thought it was like a printing error. Maybe it's a rare card. Slowpoke. Ugh. This, that Pokemon, that poor, poor Pokemon. And a Skeledurge, which is funny because these are both starter final evolutions. And you can see this one here just has the regular hollow. It's just a regular card. Awesome, well thank you guys so much for joining. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.